What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Restless Corpse, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Now, a lot of you know that the videos that I record are like uploaded the day after they're recorded. So I record, and I've said this plenty of times in the videos, but I record them at night, and then I record them the next day at noon, Central Standard Time. Well, what I'm going to talk about today happened today for me, but yesterday for everyone else. And I know I say this a lot as well, but I'm not sure how long this video is going to be because this is really the only thing that I want to talk about today. And uh, I probably don't have a whole lot to say about it, or at least that I want to say in the video. Um, but something very, very bad happened today and this is you know you've probably noticed by the title I'm sure about what I'm going to talk about but I want to preface it by saying that whether you like the guy or not whether you like his music or not Prince was a very very well respected and influential genius now I have talked about music before on my channel and these elite videos and it's possible that you probably didn't know that I was a really big Prince fan but I was as a matter of fact and this may sound cliche because it's you know one of his most I guess popular songs but Purple Rain is one of my favorite songs ever I just want to throw that out there it, it it's like iconic. It's such a great anthem. And it's so it's just well written and whatever. I'm not I don't want to gush about the song too much. I listen to it on occasion all the time. As a matter of fact, I'm very upset that there was that time a few years back where Prince kind of went crazy and started uh taking down all of like the official videos and stuff or getting them taken down anyway. Um but you can't really find a good version of studio recorded Purple Rain anymore. Everything out there is like uh, live or just part of the song or something. It always leaves out one of my favorite parts of the song, which is the end. Uh, I mean, I love the, the entire song, but it, a lot of it, like the instrumental part at the end is one of the best parts of the song. But the point is... I am very saddened that Prince is dead. Now, like I said at the very beginning, regardless of what you think about Prince, whether you like his music, whether you thought he was eccentric or too weird for you, um, I know that a lot of my viewers might be young people who might think that Prince's music is old and outdated and, and you know boring. But you have to understand that I am 35 years old. I grew up in the 80s and the 90s like the early 90s whatever i grew up in the 80s and i have a soft spot for a lot of 80s music now i don't really like 80s quote unquote cock rock or anything like that i'm more into like the new wave the uh, synth pop and all that stuff but prince's music is one of those things that i didn't necessarily appreciate back then but as i got older i really started to to like you know his music and whatnot uh, I hear it a lot at work because we, a lot of the people that I work with are my age and we all like the 80s and we listen to like the 80s satellite radio stations or whatever. And I hear it all the time uh, and I'm one of like the guys that works there because the people that I work with, you know, we like all kinds of stuff. Um, and I'm one of the, the ones that if you touch my 80s radio station or well, radio station, whatever, it's satellite radio. But if you touch it, it upsets me a little bit. Like, that's what I want to listen to. Now, it's kind of weird liking 80s music because... Or even 90s music, uh, which I also really, really like. I, I like the whole, you know, alternative scene and whatnot. Uh, I didn't like... Uh, it's another one of those things where I didn't necessarily appreciate it while it was happening. Uh, a lot of it I did, but a lot of it I didn't. Um, but if you, if it, what's weird about it, and 
is that like you never you're never gonna get any new 80s music you know you actually have to really like it to want to listen to it all the time because you're never gonna get anything new it's over and done they don't make uh, you know and when I say this I'm gonna say it but when I say it I'm not being a Kermagen or one of those people who thinks that music nowadays sucks as a matter of fact I absolutely love a lot of music that's new and uh, within the last 10 years or whatever the, you, you can't really say that music today sucks it's a different kind yes but uh, regardless to get back to the original point they really don't make music like they do anymore like that anymore and that's not a bad thing it's not necessarily a bad thing we've moved on whatever I like a lot of electronic music and you know that I guess is not necessarily a new thing but um, a lot of the new a lot of the styles these days are new but Prince for me was something that like I said I had to kind of acquire the taste for um, when I was a kid didn't really like it I didn't necessarily dislike it I just I was never like hey let's listen to Prince you know um, but he's he's iconic you know yeah he was weird he went through that the artist formerly known as Prince stage that was kind of weird everybody kind of made fun of him for it I guess that's why he reversed it eventually um, but the guy knew how to he knew how to make music guys and he knew how to work a crowd if you watch, you know, and I said that I don't really like, or I, I don't like the fact that you can't find the studio releases of Purple Rain or whatever, but uh, I have watched a lot of the live stuff, and Friendship the guy puts on an amazing show. He knows how to work the crowd. He knows, you know, just what to do to get people riled up for his music, and, or he, he knew. I guess um, it doesn't matter we're not gonna argue over syntax the point is when I woke up today and I woke up very late on Thursdays I work at night and I stay up really super late on Wednesdays and I woke up very late and I checked my Twitter feed uh, and I saw a couple things checked my Facebook feed saw a couple things and you know obviously went to verify and it it was devastating it's just like when Bowie died. Bowie dying devastated me too. Now, I talked to a lot of people about it and, uh, you know, friends and whatnot. And a lot of people that I know don't necessarily not care, but they don't get affected by this kind of thing. And and that's totally fine. If, if celebrities dying doesn't bother you, that's not a big deal. For the most part, it doesn't really bother me anymore. Or, or not anymore, but either. But sometimes you just kind of you kind of think about the things that they've done and the the love Prince had for music and Bowie as well uh, and you, you start to kind of think about that and think that man you know they they were really great people regardless of maybe how they may have acted and I'm not saying that either of these two people that I've talked about today were assholes or anything uh, but you just you, you think about all the people around the world well I don't want to do that just yet there Friendship we go people around the world who were influenced by these people or you know their lives were changed or uh, I, I don't know people like me who just loved what these people have done and now that they're gone they're obviously not going to be doing that anymore and you could argue that they were old. Well, I mean, Prince wasn't really that old. He was only 57, I believe. Uh, you could argue that they weren't really doing anything anymore anyway. But the point is that regardless of if they're not doing anything anymore anyway, they'll never do it again. And, you know, we have to, we have to hold on to what we have from them. And it just, I don't know, it gets to me. Now, I didn't, like, I, I didn't have as much of a hit, I guess, when, let's say, Michael Jackson died. I'm also a big fan of Michael Jackson, a lot of his stuff. Now, regardless of what he may have gotten up to in his free time, I can't say that I like the man, you know, 
the allegations anyway, whatever. We're not going to get into that. But the point is, when I first heard about that, I was on my way to work. Now, I still worked at the same place that I'm working at now. So I've worked there for a really long time. And I remember hearing about that on the news or on the radio on the way to work. And as soon as I got to work, uh, when I walked in and I, you know, saw my coworkers and all the, the patrons and whatnot that were sitting at the bar, and I was like, Michael Jackson just died. And, you know, no, nobody really believed me, so we turned on CNN, and obviously CNN ha had, like, coverage of it and whatnot, and that's all they were talking about. And we literally watched it the entire time. Until, you know how CNN kind of... If you watch CNN or ESPN or anything like that, they end up repeating their, their stories and whatnot. Uh, and then it just kind of turned into all, all the customers that were coming in. They all knew. They had all heard. And that night, the jukebox was just like nothing but Michael Jackson. It was crazy. Um, and it was, it was a sad thing. And the same thing happened when Bowie died. I mean, you, you could say that it was a really good night for music when Bowie died. Everybody was just pumping money into the jukebox and it was all Bowie songs and he's got so many that it... Whoa, hello. Wow, check this out. Hold on for a second. Look at the bottom left of the White Dwarf. You can see something really spinning fast. That's pretty cool. Also, I don't know if this is just a like a glitch effect, but look at the star, man. It's crazy. But anyway, uh, getting back to what I was saying. Um, I don't know. It's just like you can tell that, that people love these celebrities. And I've always been of the, the opinion that uh, celebrities are great and all. And I even kind of circulated this picture that I found a while back that said, Support your friends and what they do like you support the celebrities you don't know. And I stand by that wholeheartedly because uh, I am a musician. I am obviously a YouTuber. And to, to be honest, uh, I don't really even talk about my YouTube stuff to most of my friends. I don't put it on my Facebook. I don't do anything like that. I don't because, you know... I know that my friends, a majority of them aren't really gamers, or if they are, they're not really people who like to watch other people game. They're people that like to game themselves. Um, but it's just the, like, supporting someone and really being into what they do, it hits you really hard when they, they're gone. And I don't necessarily know where the hell I'm going with all this, but I just want everybody to know that I'm, I'm sad. I was sad when Bowie died. I was sad when Michael Jackson died, and I'm sad now that Prince is dead. I mean, Bowie and Prince in the same year. It's terrible. And it just, it comes down to the whole, like, you know, people that are my age and my generation... It's going to be it's going to be a sad couple years to be honest because the people that we grew up with were obviously older than us. The people that we grew up with are nearing the end of their lives and it's terrible. People that we you know looked up to and and I want to say idolized but I don't really think that that's the the right word. Like I don't idolize these people but I looked up to them and and you know, when you're young, you want to be like them. You want to grow up and be famous and do good things like they do. Like, make great art and things like that. And I know that some of... Uh, a majority of elite players, I think, are generally around my age. Probably a little bit less, or old, younger, probably a little bit older. Uh, because Elite has been going on for so long, you know, it was like 1984, I think, was the first game. And a lot of people that play Elite Dangerous played Elite back when it was a thing. Like, I was only four years old, so I can't really say that I played it. But it's it's going to be a sad time, guys, I'm telling you. All the people that we grew up with and we looked up to and we loved are nearing the end of their lives. And y you can't expect... It's like you, you think... 
that these people are like immortal you know you hear about them your entire life they've done so many great things they you know they're icons and and you you kind of think that they'll never die and they do and it's terrible anyway that's all I really want to say about it guys it sucks anyway remember my name is Restless Corpse Thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Eject. 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 Eject.